Fana, Bobby Lee Wadu here, and yes, I'm back to do a vlog. So, um, of course, as we all know now, I am on my journey uh, with Kahawi Tao program, and we, I will be undertaking uh, several weeks of course, uh, e-commerce uh, e course, and we just undertook our second uncle session. Kapai. And we had a beautiful young lady, um, indigenous wahine toa, from Turtle Island, Kapai. Oh, uh, well, that is the, um, the traditional ingwa that was given to North America, Canada, Kapai. So, um, Jace Myers uh, was our kai kōrero today, and she pulled out all the kurupaunamu. And I tell you, I couldn't keep up with her because I was just so intrigued. And then I forgot to take notes. And then I was just like, oh, no. But luckily, some are stored and some are written. So I was able to get a, um, a few kurupaunamu. Um, one was uh, creating the ripple, uh, ripple effect um, will create consequence. Whether it's good or bad consequence. But that is... That's so true, you know. Um, I resonated with that because, well, it created a a positive outcome. You know, my products um, create positive outcomes. Whether um, Fano take it on board um, or not, that's Katie Pie. But um, I did resonate with that. Another one is in Indigenous Entrepreneurship. So... One of the things that um, that we as Indigenous people have a tendency to uh, to uh, manaki tangata, manaki fano, manaki hapori, and that's me all over fano. I tell you, I'm not gonna lie, right? Um, I do struggle with that a lot because I have grown up like thanks to my grandparents, right? Um, I have grown up with Manakitanga being number one priority when it comes to Fano and looking after and catering for our Fano is paramount is so totally paramount but what Jace Myers spoke about was um, knowing the difference between catering and Manakitanga and just using pretty much and I went, oh, so I, and I'm not saying that any of my customers use because, you know, K to Pie, I love, I love everyone. Any, anyone that supports me, I will love to the bitter end, I tell you this. But she was telling us about valuing ourselves. Kapai, as Indigenous people, we have a tendency to um, devalue, there goes the light. Ah. Kapai. Um, we have a tendency to devalue our mahi, devalue ourself by um, by catering for Fano who can't afford our products. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's me. But I I have no thing. It makes me happy. It makes me happy um, to know that I've helped a Fano. It makes me happy that they they came to me for help and for support and to buy my products. So that was a tick tick for me. Um, but she did bring into uh, into consideration and context that we need to honour ourselves and as an entrepreneur, money uh, making money is okay. Kapai. So this is the thing that she's telling us and I'm going, oh my god. And you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, we all need money these days. But I just, like, money just doesn't, I didn't, I didn't care if I made a profit. Just as long as my, my stuff were out there, I was good, you know, I was good. But then when I started Kaha Tao program, I started realizing I'm devaluing myself 
which means that ripple effect is happening and others are starting to devalue as well and trying to ask for the you know the cheap skate um the cheap way to um buy my products and yeah i just was like oh okay so me distinguishing manaki tanga and using was very very hard for me because i see both as one and although having that that characteristic and not only me i'm not the only maori entrepreneur that does this all right let's just say that but um that this that characteristic that char uh, characteristic will not will not um strive you know benefit benefit us so she she brought in all these these um these kaupapa these con uh, contexts that we needed to consider and that was amazing um using indigenous awareness as well which is which is amazing i i love doing indigenous awareness especially maori kaupapa and maori awareness and um just expressing expressing the love of uh my reo, expressing the love of my kaupo, my home and expressing the love of creativity is as paramount so valuing the, the beliefs that will help encourage and advance an entrepreneur that was one of her kaupapa and I I totally resonated to that and I totally get it I get it and I do need to move forward although there will be times where that charitable um, aspect will come in and I love charitable because if I feel good oh well if they feel good I feel good and I love that I love sharing the love around but yeah, she, she taught us different ways to cope, different ways to to take um take on um different um aspects of entrepreneurship and it was amazing. Creative indigenous innovation is is just is amazing and I thank Jace for that. Namihinami Kiaque Jace Myers. Um she is the CEO of JaceActually.com and she's She's on Instagram and Twitter under Jace actually. She um her she is the Mangai of Indigenous people of Turtle Island, but not only Turtle Island, Temotu Katoa, and she helps she supports um she supports indigenous people to get to get onto technology, to get online, um, to Koke Fakamua and and their entrepreneurship and to become their own boss but also to help advance and enhance enhance them as a people so i so i so totally connected and related to jace she was amazing and again thank you so much to te whare huka huka. oh my gosh you're bringing all the gems mean um love it travis ma k marie ma Manu ma, minga kai mai katoa. Our leaders, Gina, Malcolm, Team Two Girl. Um, just amazing, and I'm, I'm just in awe. Like, and I can't wait. This was only the um the second aqua session, so I'm looking forward to it. Fano, all right, I'm out. I hope um I hope you took a bit of kuru painami from this, because I know we all need it as entrepreneurs. Remember, value yourself, and Others will value you. Create that ripple effect, whether it's consequential, whether it's positive, negative. K to pi, it's a ripple effect that's happened, right? So um, keep being you, and we shall see you back. Watch this space. Love you all, Fano. Rug doctor.